It's your boy, Monsieur YT, aka the Volume Messiah, aka the penny that's better than yours, aka the peak fiction. God! Hop back into another video, man. You guys knew this was coming. Last video, we were talking about Oshinoko. I already knew it was gonna be trash before I even touched it, and I decided to read it. Exactly 30 chapters. I couldn't take it anymore. I went in and skipped around into different parts of the story. I went all the way to chapter 115, which is where it's currently at, and I'm still seeing zero fucking progression. Who the fuck is reading this garbage and thinking it's fire? That's why we're on Mal here today. I'm on Mal right now, and I'm, I'm trying to read some of these reviews to see what, what the fuck is going through niggas' minds where they think this shit is super hot fire when it's super hot ass. Facts. I, I, I don't just shit on manga for no reason. I don't just shit on anime for no reason. It's either fire or it's not fire. There's no in-between. There's no such thing as mid in my world. It's either fire or it's trash. That's it. End of discussion. Now, I'm gonna break down Oshinoko just real quick, you know, and you guys will get the gist of the story. And yes, I just picked my ear and looked at the earwax. Don't give a fuck, I'm a nasty nigga, man. I'm a real dirty nigga, I get down to the business, my nigga. Now listen, so, Oshinoko is basically about this nigga that's like, probably like in his 30s or 40s or something like that, and he's a huge fan of this idol girl that like sings and shit. Ah! You know that K-pop bullshit, BTS, Blackpink, and all that. Even though some of the bitches are fine, but we're talking about the manga here. Um, he thinks that bitch is bad as fuck. She's 16 years old. He's like 30 something. He's an OBGYN and works on vaginas and shit. She ends up being pregnant and comes in, and he's like, "Oh my god, oh my god." He's so fucking geek. You're a grown ass man, bro. Relax. And then he fucking go ahead and like works on her or whatever like that. I'll help you deliver this baby. All this dramatic anime bullshit. You know, guys already know how that goes. Basically, this nigga gets killed by some nigga in a black hoodie out of nowhere. Then somehow, body switches into one of the babies in her stomach, which happen to be twins. And then, um, boom. He's just a baby now. That That's just how this goes. And he ends up growing up. She ends up getting fucking clapped by, her, by the nigga who she, she has to keep the pregnancy secret for some reason or it's going to ruin her career. Don't know why. And then she ends up getting fucking stabbed. And that's supposed to be a dramatic moment. They're all crying and shit. And then basically, this nigga vows to get his revenge. He's like, I'm going to find out who my dad was. Because the guy who actually killed her was a fucking suicidal maniac. He killed her, then killed himself. Wow so deep so fucking heart-wrenching oh my god and I, I like i hate this this is garbage bro this is the most trash plot i've ever read in my life this shit is trash i don't see how this compares to an fma level where you have deeper world building and new world order type of vibes and like take over the city type of vibe even though although there's magic there ain't nothing magical about this shit this shit is just about the acting world of showbiz, like showbiz and how how being an actor is and social media and TikTok and Instagram. Just because you reference real world values does not mean that it's fire because it's relatable to the real world in any way, shape or form. I mean, dog, you have guys have a nigga that has like this fucking mask on. He's some workout trainer with underwear and a six pack on. Oh, you're making fun of YouTubers? <laughs> You're, you're not deep. You're, you're not nothing. You're not fucking awake. I, I don't care what no one says. This is trash. And the character's ultimate revenge, how they carry his story out, is that he wants to find his dad. And then, pretty much, I don't know what he's going to do at that point, because he hasn't talked about that. He wants to find his dad, or whoever is responsible for getting her pregnant or something in the first place, and he wants to get his revenge. Don't know what he's going to do, but he's going around like doing these big shows like with producers and everything, and he's fucking like doing weird shit, like grabbing cigarette buds from these big niggas. Like, the, the, when I say big niggas, like, top people, he grabs the cigarette buds and stuff, and then he'll, like, test any type of DNA sample to see if they match his DNA to see if that's it, uh, that's somebody that was his dad or something. Pretty fucking stupid. So, I'm pretty much, you know, that all happens within, like, the first eight chapters. And there's, it just just goes and goes and goes and goes i can tell he's trying to stretch this out for 300 something chapters now you got the anime approval they just give anybody animes nowadays berserk needs a new anime adaptation anyways let's check out some of these mal comments though because i'm really interested like and in, like what people are thinking of this anime so let's go ahead and blow this up a little bit let's get me off the screen i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna bop this up and make sure i stand still all right boom all right cool 
So let's go ahead and check, take a look because I'm really interested. These are the type of niggas who think this shit is fire. Started reading this today. After reading Love is War, another one of his works to start off, I honestly got mid misled by the cover and thought it was just going down the shonen jump path, but boy was I wrong. This story definitely has what I'm looking for in most manga. Catches my attention, leaves me on the edge of my seat, has some sort of emotional roller coaster. Overhyped, bro. This is trash, dog. Now let's look at his taste. L let's check him out. Come on, bro. Your favorite character is a fucking bestiality character, bro. With these fucking, like, what even is this, bro? This is the type of shit that, these are the niggas who are upvoting this trash-ass manga, bro. Let's see the next one. One of the few shelves that you get. The beginning of the story cannot be one of the best, but at the beginning of the second chapter, it simply hooks you up and wants you to keep reading more. And you read the story, the characters are unique, including the art, and it remains simply amazing as a result. Let's check his taste. <sighs> Favorite anime? Uh, Super Cub? Trash. I already know about that one. Um, I don't even know what half these are. And, oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Hmm, nice. For somebody that likes Full Metal Alchemist, why the fuck did you... Okay, you know, whatever. Um, and he also likes... He hasn't even finished watching Oshinoko? Oh, he only has one episode out. Never, never mind, never mind. Let me not do that to him. Uh, one Piece, okay. Who's his favorite characters? Jintama. He likes these two girl characters. Super, super cut. Trash taste, bro. Trash taste. Not recommend it. Oh, hold on. I didn't sign up for this lengthy idol produced manga. The first volume is one of the more unique premises. Early on, the manga moves, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure if I want to continue this. I hate the idol stuffs per se. Yes, me too. Me too. I agree with you, bro. One of these people deleted their fucking uh, reviews because I definitely saw way more than this. Not gonna lie. Huh. Oh, wait. No, wrong. <sighs> Let's scroll down. A story that manages to combine a quite a few things together and create something very interesting. The story tackles the entertainment industry. It doesn't tackle shit in the entertainment industry. It's all exaggerated, bro. Let's see what your favorite fucking mangas are. This nigga likes Black Butler. Oh, you're a freaky motherfucker. Oh no. At least he got full mo he got full mo alchemist on Ooh. Hero Bro, if you got my hero academia on your favorite top ten manga list. Just hit the fucking door, buddy. I can hear... Oh, no. Trash. This... This is what I'm talking about. And I love the niggas who are saying not recommended. And I want you to peep their taste. The guys who say not recommended either don't have a top 10 or they do. <sighs> but there's not many because they're still reading and ex selecting certain mangas. You got Chainsaw Man. My boy likes Grand Blue. Fire. Um, He also likes... I sold my life for 10,000 yen per year. I don't know about that one, but I heard that was pretty fire. Like, okay, the BTS shit. I, it, this might be a girl. Who knows? Or some gay nigga. Who knows? But I just want you guys to peep something. Peep my taste real quick, right? Death Note. Fire. Kogias. Fire. Naruto. Classic. Trigun. Classic. Cowboy Bebop. Classic. Initial D. Classic. Full My Alchemist Brotherhood. Classic. And this is only seven animes that I have on here. I still have a lot more to go. I could easily put a top 10 fully, which I used to do back in the day, but not no more. I'm being real selective what I pick. Now let's get to the manga. Berserk, Gantz, Claymore, Vegamon, come on, fire. Tariko, slept on. Come on, bro. Like, the, the good night poom poom beater. That's what I call this one. Fire. You niggas don't even really know about this. No longer human. Not Junji Ito's version. Pfft. Trash. Me and the Devil Blues. The first actual black history manga. Like some black history-esque type of thing. You know, with a little bit of horror attached to it. Fire. Not even finished either. See a pattern here? Favorite characters. Berserk. Oh, I said Berserk. What the fuck? Guts. Light. We got my boy Lelouch. We got the nigga from Hunter x Hunter. Only because he had a raw ass move, but didn't get enough time. Come on, Gantz. Chains up. Like, bro, my taste is just superior, bro. Like, I set the standard for what most people should be doing in the first place. Like, let's see another recommended guy. 
You realize that most of these niggas who are recommending this shit, all their favorite characters are girls. I'm not saying your favorite character can't be a bitch, but like most of their roster is just full of females, bruh. Look at this shit. Niggas had great cyberpunk review. Who the fuck are you? Let, let me read this shit. Oshinoko is a very cliche in the first few chapters, but when you let it air out a little, it opens up and takes you in like a nice scotch's smell. Oshinoko is interesting and nicely paced with a lot of events. Character development is outstanding that leaves you in a melodic feeling after reading. It's overall a 9 out of 10. Outstanding panel art. Trash art. I've read thousands of manga and I hate most of them, but this is like, I trash, nigga. I'm confused, bro. You're just complimenting it, bro. That's that's all you're doing, brother. You're making it more of a personal opinion than a review. The shit's not even fucking done. I don't, like, nah. But as you guys can see, my opinion is better than yours, obviously. And this is trash. Don't waste your time reading it, guys. All my disciples on the channel, just, just save yourself the time. Don't read it. I promise you. I'm not even trolling, bro. You guys know if something's fire, I'm going to say it. Like, I've hated on, like, probably one series. There's one time I was wrong. I hated on one series, and I forgot what it was because it probably wasn't that great, but it was pretty decent, and I had to give it his props. This, I can't give it his props. Sure, YT. Out, nigga.